you can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Want it dead or barely alive? Your old or outdated computers, monitors, and televisions working or not? Don't trash it, recycle it. eCycle Washington makes it easy. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations in Washington may drop off unwanted computers, monitors, and televisions at over 300 locations statewide for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. BJ, as you know, uh, we're doing Kicks for Kids all day. It's Kicks for Kids Day today. We're raising money for Mary's Place. And in the past, we do Coats for Kids, which is a, a way for us to put coats on kids. And we work with the Washington State Council of Firefighters. We received a message from the president. He wanted to join us to talk about Kicks for Kids. What? So please welcome the president of the Washington State Council of Firefighters, Dennis Lawson. Dennis, good having you back on the show, man. Hey, a pleasure. I hope you all are doing well. well you know, Dennis, uh, w- when you consider the fact that, look, we, this, 2020 has been a hell of a year for everybody. I am always doing well when we can get together, be unified on something that will do some good for some people that really need it. So, you know what? They, these moments these moments are precious, especially in 2020. Yeah, we agree wholeheartedly. You know, and this has been a different year for us. And, you know, as firefighters, EMTs and paramedics, uh, you know, just the, the way we've had to just change the course of business you know how we're out there treating people making sure we're doing the right things we're taking our good you know, protection make sure we're wearing the appropriate ppe those kind of things and on top of it with the wildfires and everything man it's been yeah. an insane year for you guys it's been crazy it's been crazy but you know one common thing and i think bj you just said it it's about others and our organization represents uh, i think really recognizes that probably better than most that you know we we're into giving and that's kind of what we want to do and uh we're very thankful for the relationship we've had with you and, you know, we provided you some uh, helmets a few years ago. I hope you're wearing those. Today, oh, dude, let me, <laughs> it's on right now. Yeah. Listen, you know, I love playing board games and that helmet is like right in my board game room, right on top of one of my shelves, just proudly displayed. It is one of the best things I've ever received, Dennis, because I, I, I love what you guys do. You're the ultimate givers just in general because of what you do for a job. And for you give, to give us all those helmets awesome. was a great, great honor so yeah dennis uh uh, we love you guys and we love that you think enough of us to give us a helmet that was a great great thing yeah it's it's been a good relationship we look forward continuing on hey so on behalf of our union firefighters here in the state of washington we know you got had a goal of you know fifteen thousand. we're going to start you off we're going to donate five thousand this morning does that that count towards us beating the men's yes yes Yes. part of our challenge in the morning dennis we just were trying to raise at least two thousand and you've already put us way over the top and also going to kick miles and thrills his ass now they're in big trouble yeah. Oh, Dennis. Oh, Dennis, don't call the men's room in the afternoon. Don't yeah, help no, them. Yeah, don't help them at all, <laughs> we, Dennis. Okay. That is amazing, dude. Dennis, Holy crap. Wow. wow. When you well, said li- you wanted to give, man, you, I mean, you gave. Well, we're, we're hoping that some of the other, uh, you know, Whoa. unions across our state will jump on board right? as well. And, uh, yeah, these kids need, you know, we talk about putting, you know, warm coats on kids. And we're not even sure how we're going to be able to do that this year because kids aren't even in school right now. Um, but we do recognize, hey, they need shoes, too. And yeah. so let's help them out. Dude, that's that's incredible of you. I really appreciate wow. it. And you know, of course, we look forward to working with you guys, putting coats on kids. However, we're going to do it this year. You know, we're we're all on yep. board for that, Dennis. Th- yeah, I, 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 I don't know what to say, Dennis. You guys, I mean, 
you know, of uh, the group that you represent, who uh, really w- almost a thankless job, how much you guys give and give and give and sacrifice and give and look at what you're doing today. I mean, I if anybody wants to say, hey, man, is there any good in the world? Is there anything I can look look to and think, OK, man, there's hope. I would say Dennis Lawson, president of Washington State Council of Firefighters. This is what you can look forward to in everybody you represent. You are, I mean, a great human being and, and you represent a bunch of other great human beings, man. Yeah, we are. We are truly. Uh, we're blessed. We really are. It's a great job, um, and we we you know represent and serve communities that uh, you know they call us in their time of need. And we hope we deliver well, and wow. we're trying to help you guys out. So hey, don't don't cause a little rift between the afternoon show too, because I like those guys too. Don't, don't get me in trouble. Oh, we, we like them as well. We just we 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 challenge them to see who can raise yeah. the most on, on our, our respective shows, and and I think you helped us win. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's not forget the important thing, Dennis. It's winning. It's, it's yeah. It's not about relationships. Yeah, it's about us winning. I think that's really important. That's right. And uh, you know what? If we have to, if we have to put a fracture in other people's relationships with the afternoon show for us to win, well, that's what it's about. I think that's that's the real message here. No, we love you guys. That's, oh, that's incredible. I, I'm, oh, I'm so cool. Taken aback by it. It's really amazing. Yeah, I'll, I'll work with your team and I'll stay on. Figure out how you guys want to take care of that money. For yeah. You. So we'll oh, that's great, Dennis. Thank you so much again, Dennis Lawson, president of the Washington State Council of Firefighters. Dennis. Uh, we are so touched and so grateful. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for all you guys do. We appreciate it. Man, there you go. Wow, dude. You said it. You said, well, maybe we could do more than 2000 That's all we were hoping. I we were mean, to my keep, God. We were, we were trying to keep it, you know, expectations not super crazy because we know people are, are tight no. on cash. Yeah. that That's... That's really freaking cool. That is amazing. So listen, it's 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 kicks for kids. That's it, man. I'm my neighbor Michael. I'm gonna knock on your door and give you a hug today. He's a oh. firefighter. Oh, that, really? That'd be awkward if he wasn't. <laughs> just, yeah. just, just going uh, out to Michael's door. He's just hey, Michael. I don't know what you do for a living, but I'm gonna hug you. No, he's an awesome dude. We we, we got to uh, celebrate with him at their formal as well. He's an awesome guy. And yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That man. really, uh, that really, <laughs> I was not expecting that. No, that touches me because look, they have you know they they've got their charity work that they do, and for them to still a lot money like this for something you know with Mary's place is just really, it's it's fantastic. I it I, I'm, yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, Dennis. That is great stuff. All right. Anyway, uh, if you want to donate, it doesn't matter, man. Look, it's not about the number as it is about if you just take any kind of action. Really, a mm-hmm. dollar helps. You want to be part of the 69 crew. Today is a big day. We're celebrating all day long. And look, we're going to have a friendly, fun competition with the men's room. But I love that they are jumping on board. It's all, awesome of those know, guys, too. And Ryan Castlin and Taryn are also involved as well. And so we're all, I mean, this is what I love about KISW and uh, is that we're all just a family. And we're trying to do something good for well for folks that sometimes don't have families these kids sometimes don't have any families and they don't have a home sometimes and mary's place does a great job trying to give them the best life possible and we're happy to help out with kicks for kids we got a text how cool it makes my skin tingle just like that faith in humanity gets closer to being restored that was awesome so i want to know how much was the donation five thousand dollars from the washington state council of firefighters dennis lawson and the crew wow. yeah uh that was really cool and we just got a text just donate 50 bucks thanks for all that you guys do to help out the community let me just say this very quickly, because when people talk about faith and humanity being restored, you have to know that the more you encounter great people like Dennis and all the folks that you know he represents, those folks don't bang their own drum. And unfortunately, the people that are maybe not the coolest in our society are always banging their own drum. That doesn't mean there are more of those drum bangers than the cool people. Mm-hmm. That Just remember that. The cool people are basically pulling a Keanu. They're doing amazing things that you never hear about because they don't bang their own drum about it, whereas other people that bang their drum about every little problem they have or every little whatever, you know, they're the only ones you get to see, but they don't represent humanity, not by a long shot. So believe me, know that behind the scenes, there's a lot of cool stuff happening from people who don't want accolades. They just want to help. And Dennis is proof positive. I mean, we did not expect it. I don't think he would have even wanted to call in, but he's like, well, listen, you guys are doing this. We want to help. Yeah, he shot shot us an email yesterday saying, hey, can I join you guys on the air? I want to present you guys with a donation. And I... We just figured, awesome. you know, well, I, I did not think it would be that big of a donation. I just figured, hey, maybe give us a couple hundred dollars. That'd be cool because I know they got their own thing. And look at him. And look at him. Hey, someone just said, uh, I just donated $138. Woo! That's 69 times two. Double 69 crew. Oh, I like that plan. <laughs> very, very nice. I freaking love our listeners. I Dude. think it's just so funny that like the, the whole 69, because we got another person that said, I just donated $69. It's the dumbest reason, but for the greatest cause. Exactly. You know, because look, you can have fun and be a good person person 
And I sometimes we forget that in life. And Steve, your 69 crew is proof of that. Damn straight. Uh, damn straight. And of course, it's very nice. We, we need to make shirts. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> by the way, by the way, when Steve says we need to make sure it's Danny, you're gonna and Vicky, you're gonna have to find out how to get those done. I just done. think out loud. I'm not actually yeah. doing any yeah, work. Yeah, the idea, man. Yeah, the yeah. ideas guy. He's not the Thank action you. man. He's not the right. action. It's <laughs> Mr. Idea. God knows we don't have enough of those. I got enough time. Oh really? Oh yeah. You don't have enough time. Oh. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Everything. Oh, you're doing everything. Everything. Oh, I didn't know you're doing everything. Damn straight. All right. Uh, I got a new uh, survey here. And by the way, KISW.com is where you can donate for Kicks for Kids. And if you can't donate, look, I get it. Listen, everyone's got what they're going through. But you have social media. Spread it to your friends. Ask your friends to help out. This is our big day. This is the day we're closing out the campaign. We want to raise as much as possible. We also want to beat the men's room because we know they have a great following themselves. So it's not going to be an easy task because the men's room got a lot of faithful listeners. But we know you can do it. Come on. Because you know who the real winner is? The kids. Damn straight. Yeah. So that's what really comes of it. So uh, we'll see how that goes. That's a big that's a big ask, Steve, with that 5000 now. <laughs> that's, I mean, all of a sudden the men's room got some work to do. So laid the gauntlet down. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Watch Bill Gates calls their show. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh, man. how dare they get more money yeah. for a great cause so that's uh so that that that's really really that's really awesome all right so uh today is kicks for kids day on the rock and we have challenged the fellas on the men's room to raise money like i said for mary's place on their show uh how about this uh while you're donating kisw.com we are going to actually have our first battle about this whole thing with steve the thrill hill we'll be doing that at 8 17 on the rock BJ and Mix mornings on the Rock ninety nine point nine KISW. I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker, so I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh. I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Wait, don't trash that used or broken computer, monitor, or TV. Do the right thing. Recycle your unwanted or non-working electronics for free. You can recycle computers, monitors, and televisions with eCycle Washington. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations may drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. And uh, we have a special guest. Yes, here. we do. Oh. Straight from the men's room, BJ. It's Steve, The Thrill Hill. What the? Who the? I was he up so early? Yeah, this is way early for you, buddy. What do you mean, what the? Three <laughs> o'clock in the morning and I'm talking to your ass. That's right. <laughs> well, I know, you ha- I know you have kids and that's why you're up. So, I mean, there's no way they're going to let that you sleep in. That's exactly true. I've yeah. already yelled at them like three times and made many pancakes. <laughs> and you also uh, made one of your kids give them their cell phone. I got, we got a text from you on the text line because your phone number wasn't working. <laughs> Well, yeah. All right. I don't want to go down that road. People have been telling me for four months, you need to get a new phone because my screen is cracked. Yeah. And then it actually like fell into two separate pieces earlier this week. Oh, nice. So I'm on the kids. Very nice, new, shiny phone. I bet they love that. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Yeah. I don't even know their damn number. My wife had to text them to let you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the king of technology, Steve, the Thrill Hill. Here he is. That is how I am known. Yes, the king of tech. <laughs> the king of tech. Well, uh, as you know, we got you on the phone because today <laughs> is the big push, the big wrap up for our Kicks for Kids competition. Uh, well, it is a competition, but it's basically it's our competition. Our, our, it's well, it's a competition today. Obviously, it's been a great charity drive to get uh, new shoes on kids. But today, hate to say it, buddy, but we're turning it into a competition. It's us versus the men's room. Who can raise the most? What did that happen? <laughs> So it's been a charity drive, and now at 8.15, it has become a competition. Yes. And I'm being informed. So what exactly is this competition? Well, we had a, a, a goal of raising at least $2,000 this morning, and we figured, okay, well, whatever we raise at the end of our show, we'll, we'll pass it along to Mike, and then the goal of your show would be to try and top that. And yeah, at the buddy. end of the day, who cares? 
the winners are the kids because they get more shoes. That's the whole point. But uh, I hate to break it to you, but we, we just received some news and an awesome phone call from our friend Dennis Lawson at the Washington State Council of Firefighters, and they're donating $5,000 on behalf. 5000 So we That son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, man, that is a, that is crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, we knew that, listen, the men's room is, I mean, obviously you guys have been kicking ass here in The Rock for so many years. And uh, you know what? The Rockaholics and the Bicholas and everybody involved, we knew, we felt like we were the underdog. So really, we had to get a ringer is what we, we that's the way I looked at it. Because yeah, we knew. That's exactly what you got. Yeah, we did. So you might want to, like, you know, contact some uh, people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know any more money. About yeah. $5,000. Dude, it blew our minds when yeah. he said that. I thought, okay, he, he, because he emailed us today, I'd like to call in during the morning show and donate on behalf of the Washington State Council of Firefighters because of all the cool stuff you guys do with us, raising money for coats for kids. And he's like, we want to do something with the kicks for kids. And I didn't know what the amount would be, but I would have, when he said $5,000, I was first yeah. I was just blown away by his generosity, and second, I was so excited because I feel like we now are going to beat you guys. Yeah, we have a great shot now. I, see, that just pisses me off. Now I'm at a firefighter. <laughs> this is not how the day should begin. So you just got five. You guys were going for two grand. Yeah. Homie just gave you 250% more. Yeah. And now it's on us. Yeah. Now, do, I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the price is right thing that pisses people off. I'm going to add $1 to our goal of whatever you guys get. So if you get seven grand, I want to get 7001 Right. Okay. One. Yeah, hey, listen, you know what? That way. However you what? do it, it's still going to be a long road, baby. Uh, yeah. Thanks <laughs> to the firefighters. Hey, you but. You guys have something to do? Like put out fires? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you people helping kids? You God. What, a, wa- what a waste of time. I have kids. Don't be so nice. I'm not going to ask for more. <laughs> so what are you guys are what, doing this what, straight until 10 o'clock? And oh, then yeah. that total is. Yep. That's what you're throwing to us. That's what you're getting, my friend. Do me a favor, then. <laughs> Drop this news on Miles a little bit later, too. Yeah, oh, we're, we're yeah. Talk to him about an hour. Yoga or some crap. Well, yeah, good. And, good. We, listen, and I definitely, you know, you know, Steve, I know Miles, of course, being a former football player and definitely very competitive. I, I figured he I'd give him a punter. Yeah, I'm going to give he him a punter. He was a punter. Okay, <laughs> fine. A football player. Well. But you're not competitive. As a, you only have a big day as a punter if your team sucks. Remember yeah, that. There is that, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to bring that up in mixed company with Danny here, but you're right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, it, but it, I was, either way, the beautiful thing is the kids win. And that is what's so great is that this is the uh, Mary's Place is doing a great job making sure kids get shoes on their feet where, you know, we're all lucky. We get to go out and buy what we want when it comes to sneakers or shoes or whatever. And a lot of these kids, they don't get to do that. And Kicks for Kids will help them make that happen. The thing is, you know, I know that. And look, I love kids. Not that I have kids and I understand why they are that peculiar way they are. They're a fantastic group of little humans. But I wish you had said to my kids what you just said to me. We're lucky we can go out and get our own shoes. Oh, yeah, that kind yeah. of thing is lost on them. Oh, right. You're right about They're, that. You know what? They should donate some of their damn birthday money to them. <laughs> so my kids should do. Like That's that idea. First donation. They got to help out daddy. So listen, I think it's they a great idea. They got to help out something. <laughs> after I explained to them why firefighters are bad. <laughs> <laughs> But that's how we roll. <laughs> All right, man. Well, you so can also encourage your, your listeners to join the 69 Club. We have a, a, a very ex- exclusive club of people who donate $69, including this text. My wife and I just teamed up. We each donated $34.50. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's oh, together. Your wife teamed up for the 69 Club. That's clever. Yeah. That's smooth. That's yeah. nice. And it's that's right. now another $69. So my, wife, my wife really wanted to be a part of Steve Mink's 69 Club, and I, I couldn't let her do it alone. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. Yeah. I'm married. That's not how that works anymore. <laughs> well, what about today, though? Today could be a different day because you're doing it for the children, right? You're raising money. <laughs> That's what I'm going to So I'm going to say to the wife, hey, baby, we got to do this. Yeah. It's yeah. for the kids. It exactly. So, yeah, yeah, I will accept your challenge. Oh. I don't know who will get it. Yeah, All yeah, right. that's right. We're throwing the gauntlet down, the uh, glove in the middle of the field, or the hell of it. I, no, no, I have slapped you with a leather glove. That is what I've done. Perfect. We'll do it the French way. <laughs> well, well, didn't they do it on Bugs Bunny as well? Oh, they <laughs> yeah. did. That's actually right. Oh, the Bugs Bunny, Bunny. Were, whichever came <laughs> first I in know history. 
Bugs Bunny, the French, one of those two. All right, so... Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, down, man, absolutely. At 2 o'clock today, be listening to the men's room as they are going to answer the challenge and uh, try to raise more than at least, well, as far as I know, more than $5,069. At least well, I know we got Someone that. just said they, they donated 500 bucks. Oh, Great job, firefighters. $5,569 has now been at least. We know it's more than that, but we know it's at least that. Oh, baby. But you're not making this easy. We do have good news for you, Steve. Someone just texted and said, Steve, come see me at You Break It, I Fix It at Lake Stevens. I'll fix your phone. No problem. Oh, well, there's well, that. This is beyond oh, you, repair. You Break, I, I Fix. It now looks like a set of Lego pieces. Like, it is oh, yeah. It is a disaster. This is not something that can be fixed. By the way, I'm supposed to get a new phone today, but we'll see what the hell happens. Well, bottom line is this. The challenge is on. So at the, the at ten o'clock this morning, we will give the final figure to to the masses, including to Mike, and then Mike will tell you what what you guys got to do. And uh, well, it's on, my friend. We knew you'd raise a lot of money, but we had to make it a challenge. And now we we thank you to our ringer at the American Council of Firefighters. We got it. Washington State Council. Don't talk about them again. Well, well, we, they, we have an issue. Fine now. Americans too, Steve. Very All right. true. All right, Steve. Uh, we'll we'll get an update later on. See what's up, brother. All right, bro. All right, there I'm he on. goes. There goes Steve. Take Hill. care. Uh, uh, one of the one of, one of the greatest halves of uh, well, greatest thirds really of the men's room. You think? Well, greatest fourth. I don't know what you call it, but they're part of the. He's part of the men's room. He's part of the crew. He's part yeah. of the gang. Well, speaking of the crew, we'll yeah. talk with Miles in an hour as well, so we can break the news to him as well. Well, and you know, because he's a punter, he'll be very uh, competitive. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that is great. Of course, it's all for good cause. Go to kisw dot com. We'd like you to donate now. That would be really cool. Uh, why wait till 2 p.m. or beyond? You can donate now, right, Steve? Damn straight. Yeah. Sure, it'll be great. And, of course, it'll be, you know, go to our side. That's a cool thing. And, uh, of course, it helps out the kids getting those shoes on the kids. Big push today, the final day for Kicks for Kids getting that done. All right, we got a survey because, uh, as you know, the, the, the king of therapy over here will tell you how stress is a beating and how it can make your life miserable. That is a fact. I'm living proof. And so they did a survey, talked to a 1,000 people in our fine land, and they said, hey, man, um, you got stress. What would you consider the most stressful moments of your life? They got 10 of the top stressful moments, and I figure, okay, you know what? This has been a tough year for everybody. Let's see what I you guys it. say. All right? When you're at a parking lot at Target, and you're waiting for that person to pull out of their spot so you could get the spot, and they're taking an, a ridiculously long amount of time. That is a highly specific number one answer, Steve. You, you got it right. That pisses it's me word out. for word. Actually, that's not. That stresses uh, me out so much. I'm like, come on, I saw you get in your car. What are you doing in your car at this point? Put makeup on? Like, get out of the damn spot. See, that's where I'm the you know person what? in the car, slow rolling. Why? Making, because I know you're yeah. waiting. Oh, why, yeah, what, what is, why, why not do the he's person trolling. a solid? No. As soon as I get in my car, I'm all right. I'm, I'm pulling out before my wife even gets in the car. I'm like, there's a car waiting for us. Let's give him the spot. Can wow. I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Are you asking a troll to That's be nice? That's a good point. I yep. think that Do you see how stressed you are right now? By the it way. It stresses me out so much. I can tell. Do you know why I love Steve? Okay, Whoa, loves a strong way. But the God, thing is, is that I thought for sure he would give the number one answer. Instead, of course, he gives an answer that's not even anywhere near this list. <laughs> and I really believe Steve should be giving the number one answer, but he's not because mm. that's Steve. Steve just goes against everything that this country is all about. And yet the number one answer to me is exactly what I would thought you would have given today. The skip function not working on your on-demand feature. Yes. <laughs> well, they just changed it, man. Apparently that's uh, Vicky's number one. Yeah. Oh, uh, what, what on you? On your, you, know, on your, you, your you watch something like I'm watching American Ninja Warrior, and I'm like trying to fast forward. It says you fast forwarding is disabled, but then I thought I had the workaround. I was able to like do the the code so that my skip would go not five minutes ahead, but just thirty seconds. And and skip feature is now disabled. Very stressful, oh! DJ. So now you got to sit Ooh. through commercials. Have you oh, seen? Man. Well, I don't know if it's in this area, so but stressful. but guess what? I figured out. What's that? Well, because I because I had recorded part of the Hawks game because it was a national game, so I was watching it down in California, mm -hmm. and I, uh, I I I you know I wanted to catch up live before anybody ruined it for me. As I was fast forwarding through the commercials, they showed me another commercial. Like when I went and pressed the button, have you seen that thing happen yes. before? That's how they get you. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm like, wait a minute, what the hell? I just saw that I was. They're I outsmarting us, BJ. Yeah. It's very stressful. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that with Xfinity, but this but Cox I saw it with, and I was like, mm. as it. Work. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's called Cox Cable down there. All right. So you know about that one. I never knew about that one. Yep. They're oh, on to us. That's They're right. on to us. I get it. I mean, because yeah. we had the workaround. 
All right, so I'm going to ask everybody in this room, since Steve doesn't seem to be able to figure out what number one is, which is a shock to me, what do you think number one is? The clue is Steve really should be picking this as number one. Trying to find a bathroom when you really got to poo. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, that's Rev's number one. Yeah, I can I understand that. Really uh, and, and Rev, I'm like that, but I'm, I'm the other way around. I just use a sink. I mean, yeah. when I'm, <laughs> Whoa. Well, yeah, when I'm trying to go number one, I have to make sure there are bathrooms everywhere on a trip that we take because if they're not, there's a problem. Mm. I, I know what it is. Oh. Having to work with BJ Shea every day. Yeah, that's is right. Is that number one? That highly, number one, right? That's actually number They're, two. Highly specific, but yeah, that would be number two now. That's uh, impressive. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give Vicky the last shot because Vicky's the smartest one on the show. So, Vicky, what do you got? Uh, I was going to say, when anybody says, hey, we need to talk. Oh, or we geez. need to talk later. That is true. Oh, wow. Whether an yeah. email, a text, or whatever, it's like, can we talk? Okay, I'm going to make more... If it's not serious, they should, in parentheses, say nothing serious. Right. I feel like you owe it to that person. But it's them. always serious. Not always. Sometimes you just got to ask them about, like, you know, what kind of plants that they got at the store yesterday. What, did you preface that? Can we talk? You can't just come out with that? I think I would just come out with that. That's a solid point. You would think, but my dad will, you know, text me. He's like, hey, when you get off work, can we talk? I'm like, oh, my God, someone died. Someone's in the hospital. What's going on? He's like, oh, no. And then I'm like, dad, tell me. Tell me what's going on. Oh, it's I just wanted to see what you wanted for dinner. What? Like, yeah, you can't use the phrase, no, can we talk? No. That is not the right phrase. She just gave me a freaking heart attack. But yeah. if he said, can we talk? parentheses nothing serious would you be okay with I'd be that okay with and that. then he says hey what do you want for dinner and it's everything's cool i've trained our boss to do that because it's like look dude you don't always ask to talk unless of course you know because maybe i was a problem employee so anytime you needed to talk to me was about a problem that i caused so it's like you need to really put in parentheses because i sometimes don't know i've caused problems so that's not number one no all right i'm gonna give you guys a hint the reason i think it should be number one for steve is that this is a stressful thing that is very much happening right now baby <laughs> He's Baby. not wrong. <laughs> He's not. Tatum actually, was sick for the first time yesterday. It's very stressful. Oh dear. Yeah. You that guys was really. I've never so, been more devastated in my life seeing a little child puke. Oh really? Oh, she was really sick. Okay. Well, yeah, a little fever. She's better today. Don't worry. Oh, that's good news. But uh, it was just like you know, you always hear these stories. I'm like, come on, parents, get it together. Now I get it. <laughs> It's oh, the yeah. worst feeling. Oh, believe in the me, world. you are Kids going to get sick. You, you, you become. I mean, and listen, I've been cool. Thanks, Rev. Yeah. <laughs> from all your years of being a parent, yeah, oh, he, yeah, doesn't, yeah. Yeah. he doesn't know. Yeah, coughing up a fur ball is a lot different than what uh, Steve's going. You think? With. Yeah, you go Google crazy, and then like you know, you're like trying oh. to figure it all out, running to the store to get a new thermometer because the one that you're using that you don't feel like is working right, even though it works just fine. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's just one of those things. The first one is always like that. Yes. We, we, you know what? Sarah could have had the bubonic plague. We'd be like, oh, she's fine. Well, because I mean, we went through it with Joe. We're I like, yeah, she's fine. Each time it happens, you'll be a little bit easier to digest. But this was the first time. Yeah, she's oh, ever been sick. It's always those first. That's oh. why the third, fourth kid has it so easy because the fa- parents are zero f's given because mm-hmm. they understand everything. And you know, the other kids go, you know, I paved the way for you. You know, I right. pretty much was. I mean, they helicoptered me all the way, and now you get everything. Uh, it's okay. So none of you guys would find this to be a stressful thing, which is pretty fascinating. He's Steve is literally going through this right now, and it's number one on the list. Work. Yes, I am. It's working. right now. I've, I'm stopping to give it you guys. I can't give you guys any clues. I'm just going to tell you what number. Moving. One. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh you don't even get that, me right? started on that, BJ. That's fun. Apparently, I don't have to get you started because you're still in the Target parking lot, idiot. <laughs> Apparently that's more stressful than moving your whole goddamn house somewhere. It is I'm so stressful, stressful man. Oh, I it? agree. I, I don't totally know. Is agree. it stressful? It's I really think stressful. waiting for the guy to pull out a target is even worse, Steve. Oh, it is. How are you this? How do you live life? This is number one, and you're going through it in multiple days, and you're like, that target thing, man, I don't know if I can handle it. The holiday season's coming up. Well, every day is a little bit different with this moving experience. <laughs> oh, I you think? You. Yeah, yeah, some days are worse than others. The other day, I was yelling and screaming that I felt like everyone was out to get me as my wife is holding our child, just both of them staring at me like I'm insane, and that's when I realized I was insane. But today, I'm okay. I think everything's okay. Are you okay now? <laughs> yes. Unless you go to a target, then you're going to be in big trouble. Well, the problem is it's not so much the move. It's because I'm, everything I'm doing right now is I'm selling a house to buy a house, and everything has to be timed right in order to do the move. Yeah, that's what probably is causing you some stress, I think. And, I mean, I was supposed to move last week, then a couple of days after that, then a couple of days after that. Feels like a it's a real stressful moment. Feels like this has really added a lot of stress to your life. Well, 
three or four days ago, yes. Today I'm at peace. Oh, today you're in peace. <laughs> Until are you later all, on are you today. all moved in? No. <laughs> well, then how are you in peace? I have to or I'll lose my mind. See, you are look, you're the wise one. I, mean, I have to choose to be at peace until I no. find out for sure. But like, yeah, later on today I can find out that it's either being pushed back or it's not happening at all. Because well, it's nothing to do with me. It has to do with the sale of the house. Okay, I listen. I everything on my end's good to go. It's just like I'm waiting for the new owners to. It's the whole thing is stupid, man. <laughs> these lenders and these underwriters, they wait till the last minute. Oh yeah, it's 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 a frustrating process. Well, yeah, because you think everything's good to go, and the, the day that's supposed to happen, like at four o'clock on the day it's supposed to happen, you get a call, and you're like, it's not happening today. I'm like, oh, that, what? Yeah, you're like, wait a minute. You know what? How is it when you can't do your job when you're supposed to do your job? Uh, I re- yeah, yeah, that was. Oh, yeah. I remember when uh, I did the moving in the house, and I literally that was one of the few times that I've like gotten down and just literally just yelled at a person, like just because it's like you need to get your s in gear and get this done because you're literally holding up everything. Yeah, this is this is uh, the top most stressful thing a thousand americans said moving is a beating uh for whatever you know whether it's just mm-hmm. moving your stuff anyway yeah. or, or having to get that done whether you can afford movers or if you can't then roping people in with a pizza and promises to get them to help you oh dude it's insane man it's just and, and not though on top of it it's all the craziness that's going on in the world and having a child it's not it's not a good time i know your wife's got two children that's the problem she does <laughs> yeah so she doesn't know what she's gonna do and god forbid if you have anything you have to do to your house before you sell it yep. like anything with the inspection and stuff, whether you got to add new trim or whatever, because I'm going through that with my parents right now. My dad's freaking out, so I'm trying to be the calm voice of reason. Oh, yeah. That doesn't work. You know, that's, I am a, not. That's the top stressful moment, right? Uh, you know, and then underneath it is the Target parking lot, which yeah. really is, uh, Steve, I'm telling you, man, I want to live like you because you're, the, what you just said, I can't do anything about it now, and you're able to shelf it is a, is a, is a tool that I have been trying to put in my toolbox for years because I, I have a hard time doing that. Mm-hmm. You know, my thing is it's not resolved, therefore I'm in panic mode even though there's nothing I can do in this moment. There's absolutely nothing. Yeah, like, and Everything smart. on my end has been done. It's signed and good yeah. to go. It's just like one person says, I hate contingent buyers and sellers and all that. Oh, I get yeah. it. I understand why because it's like you're, there's too many factors, man. Too many factors, man. Too many. Yeah. And well, I congratulations. Am, I'm that guy. Well, Maybe. I'm just happy just to know waiting. that that's not the most stressful moment in your life. Uh, it's, a, it's really great. Well, yeah, dude, you'll see me lose my mind if I go to Target today and yeah. it takes too long <laughs> to get out of that damn spot. Those things really piss me off. It's just like, seriously, guy. Now I just want to You know that around. there's a car I waiting just, for I, your I, spot. I, I understand if you have a child and you're putting a child in a seat, but if it's just you, <laughs> what the F are you doing? What is taking so long? Your brake light's on already, so I know you know that there's someone waiting. It's so stupid. Like, I just want to take, like, a pint of ice cream and throw it at the car. Oh, okay. Don't but I won't because I like my ice cream. Yeah, yeah you like I'm ice like cream. I want to say, wait a second, this is really a big moment It's just for you. frustrating. It's almost like they're playing with you. We never actually got through like the rest the of the top ten, so we'll have to revisit this because uh, we've run out of time. Just because of the fact I didn't think it would take us so long to get to the top one I'm since you're in the middle of it. I but this. Yeah. It's stressful. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it is. I might not go to Target today. Now I'm more I think about yeah, it. I, mean, I wouldn't. Shouldn't. I mean, Target, or you that, have somebody Uber you there. That way you don't have to worry about parking. Then don't get me going on the Walmart parking lot. Oh. Because then it's the people. It's not even the cars. Oh. They don't even know that there's a car coming. They're just like walking willy nilly. Don't even care. Oh, yeah. I it's like, do you want I to get hit by a vehicle? I don't understand that at all. And I, I really don't. And, you know, it's just, yeah. How are you oblivious to the fact that you, you drive it? You're going to your car, so you know what it's like to be a driver. What are you doing? I don't understand it. Why do I you? almost feel like they want to be hit. I'm not going to. Well, you know what? It, it, well, it could very well be the thing. You know, some but, people go, look, I can't. I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Put me in the hospital. I don't know. I thought when we all grew up, we were told to look both ways when crossing oh, dude, anywhere. That's done. It's just like they just beeline straight out, not even paying attention that there might be a car coming. Oh, yeah, that's done, dude. Looking mm-hmm. both ways is done. They, I, I was in California. They now put it on the sidewalks. And the crosswalks, they literally have look both ways that they printed on the sidewalks in some places in California because apparently we're not telling our kids that anymore. So we got to put it on the uh, – you really should go both ways. To, it's an always stop, but sometimes people may not see you. So this is, I'm pretty sure Steve is a blanking psychopath. Well, I, I mean, if you don't get out of your spot, yes. I agree. <laughs> All right. Well, at least you're agreeing with that you're a psychopath, but you are a conditional psychopath. Well, especially if the parking lot's full. <laughs> I don't know, like holiday season, I'm really quick to get out of my spot. I just feel like you owe it to your fellow driver. Yeah, I, I, I can appreciate that. It's hard because if you need to put your, you know, you put your phone up, if you got to calculate where you're going and say you're somewhere you're not supposed to. But yeah, it's still, I try to be as quick as possible. My guess is you're going home. 
You went to the store and you're going home. Oh, if you don't yeah. know how to go home, that's not... Well, you know, I don't know, man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. You don't deserve to be driving at this point, so Steve's got ice cream for you. Maybe they're right. Maybe yeah. I'm a psychopath. Yeah. Oh, really? Maybe? I'm eat my chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Just be quiet. Um, yesterday, the psychopath did get this one wrong. Ludwig von Beethoven was born yeah. in 1770 in which European city? Da, da, Germany. Da, 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 da. No. Oh. Um, Austria. Da, 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 da. No. France. No, it's a city. Da, da, da. Uh, do you remember? Berlin. Yeah, good job, buddy. Nice. nice. Target parking lot, DJ. <laughs> you, you cracked me up. But now at least I know you have one stupid thing that you get upset about that I can look at and go, well, so what? Just wait. You know? Yeah, Berlin was the answer. You want a shot at beating Steve, you got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat the Psychopath at 847 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another question from a listener. I'm getting my wages garnished. Can bankruptcy help with that? Absolutely. Uh, one of the big reasons people file bankruptcy is because they have a judgment or a lawsuit against them or their wages are getting garnished uh, and so they can't pay their bill, other regular ongoing bills. People sometimes think that you can't file bankruptcy once they have a judgment against them or once a garnishment start, has started, and that's not true. Filing bankruptcy will immediately stop any garnishment that you have going except for child support uh, and stop your creditors from continuing on with garnishments of your bank account, your wages, um, and in most cases will discharge that liability uh, through the bankruptcy process. And we can file a bankruptcy case uh, for you usually the day you come in. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian.